I'm actually pretty happy that this game is coming to console. Every single video I post, there's people saying that they can't afford a computer, but they have a console. They wish Rust was going to come out on the console. And at least this way, they're going to get to try it out. I hope that it's well coded, and I hope there aren't a lot of problems at launch, as with Face Punch usually. Not to slag off the company or anything. They're a great company. They've been working on this game for years. But I do hope that they're not taking focus away from the PC model, and they put together a completely different dev team. That is my entire opinion on the game, but I've looked at it from much more of a technical aspect as well. I'm sure by now a lot of you have seen the announcements for Rust coming to console, but if you haven't, Rust is coming to console. I wanted to give my two pence on this because I've hated consoles for years. I couldn't wait to rub my DDR5 RAM i9 chipset with RTX VR Ready GPU. Oh! this wouldn't really be a fair comparison. So let's be a little generous to these console plebs and use the PS4 Pro as a baseline for our little tech crunch. I should note that going into this, I just assumed a PC would be better. But the answer is yes, the PC is better, but also not really. The first thing I tried to do was look up equivalent parts for both PC and PS4 and individually compare their ability. But I quickly learned that consoles actually aren't a bad price for what they are. In terms of what you pay for what you get inside the console, it's about the same price as you'd spend building a PC. It's like building a super cheap rig. And because it's plug and play as well, I can see the appeal of a console. You don't have to build the parts yourself or pay some expensive royalties to get someone else to do it for you. I'd always assumed that console hardware was just frankly garbage, but this really isn't true. Now all of this got me thinking. I was considering trying to just build a PC for the cost of a PS4 in a Linus Tech Tips Scrap Wars themed video. But after doing about an hour of research, I got into some Reddit threads, read a couple of articles and watched a bunch of my fellow creators here on YouTube and I had every everything I needed to form an opinion. It turns out a lot of videos have already been made comparing the PS4 Pro, which is about $400, and a $400 PC build. Now that's only about 310 quid for those of you who speak the Queens. I'll leave a link to my favourite comparison video down below if you want to check it out. Now from an optimization standpoint, consoles have the added bonus of all being identical. This means that the game just has to be optimised for one set of hardware. This is much, much easier than trying to ensure that the game runs on literally millions of infinite PC build possibilities. This is definitely a point to the PS4 Pro as with a lot less effort, Rust can actually be optimised well. However, the lacking hardware mixed with the literal limits of the PS4 mean that 60fps at 1080p is a really, 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 really hopeful scenario. If we use the release of Arc onto console as a reference here, although it was a console playable 30 FPS, getting anything above a steady 40 FPS was a serious struggle. Rust is a high stakes competitive game. I could not play lower than 60 frames, but I suppose if everyone's got the same disadvantage, you can't really complain. It really comes down to how well Rust is coded for the console. Poor optimization will mean a 30 FPS cap, very good optimization may push closer up to the 60 fps mark and who knows maybe the ps5 is gonna run rust better than the ps4 pro enough about the console can a 400 dollars pc run rust at 60 frames per second no if you're a real tech wizard and you think you could build a $400 PC that runs Rust at 60 frames per second, and that's not it can get up to 60, I mean a steady 60, I will accept occasional frame drops, as this may be server-side, but if you can even fit an SSD in there, literally send me an email and I will try and build this myself. But as it stands, it is just impossible. However, if we look at a PC build closer to the $550 mark, on lowest settings, yes, Rust is achievable at 1080p on 60fps. Just about. And I, I, I do mean just about. Let's be honest though, is the console life really worth saving that extra 100 quid? On PC, you can do literally anything. Run a business, code your own game, animation, be a pirate, create works of art, CAD, do your shopping, and there's just a huge ease of access to literally 
anything you want. The bottom line is, we don't know how well Rust is going to run on console. There's a good chance it's going to be capped at 30 FPS. It's very likely that it's gonna struggle to go over 40 and stay steady. And not to sound negative, but you can expect a rough launch with lots of problems, as with Rust fashion. But for an extra 100 quid, you can play Rust at very close to competitively, and you don't have to settle for a box that you have to pay monthly just to use the internet, as well as already having to pay for your internet. Let me know what you guys think about Rust coming to console down below. Do you think it'll be a playable 60 FPS? <laughs> <laughs> and who here has the cheapest build and can still play Rust well? If you think it's you, let me know down below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. As always, a huge shout out to my patrons. You guys help me out so, so much. And if you have a console and you buy Rust and you like it, would you want to try it on PC as well? Maybe we could get a really cheap PC build going for console players that are trying to move over. Who knows? Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. And as always, have fun, guys.